<clears throat> hey, it's what is today? It's Thursday. What's going on? It's Thursday, everybody. Good morning. I hope you've already declared that um, today is going to be the absolute best day of our lives. And then we're getting stronger and better in every single area of our lives. That we're blessed going in, blessed coming out. Come on, somebody. I hope you've spoken those things over yourself already. Hey, 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 everybody. Brenda, what's going on? Good morning. Monica, what's up, Monica? I love you, girl. Sonia, Vita, what's going on? Good morning. Jay, what's up? What's going on? So <clears throat> I'm in the back of our plane. We're getting ready to take off to come to go and actually visit our babies. They only live like an hour and a half away, but driving. Or is it two hours away? It's two hours away. Hold on to. I have a one hour limit in a car. <laughs> no. Nah. But if I could fly somewhere, I'd rather fly than drive any day. I just, some people like to get on the road. I'm not that girl, like, at all. Period. End of the story. All right. So, anyway, uh, good morning, everybody. Excited to have you guys on here. I hope that you've already spoken life over yourself. I hope that you've already declared that this is going to be the absolute best day of your life, that August will far surpass any month that you have ever been on the earth. Woo! <laughs> Thank you, Gabriel. Yes, girl. Go, cheek, girl. Um, but I hope that you've already confessed that, that you've already said that August will far surpass any month that I have ever been alive. The August will supersede that. Man, that's a powerful thing. Can you imagine getting up and start saying that every single day over your life? Come on, say it out of your mouth right now. Who's going to say it with me? Put it in there. August. Just type August. That's all you got to do. August. August is going to be the most powerful month of your entire existence on the earth as a human being. The August will far surpass any success, any victory, any testimony that you have ever, 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 ever experienced. August is going to far surpass that. This will be a month of the exceeding. Did you know that we serve the God of more? That's right. We serve the God of more. Put that in there right now. Put in there. We serve the God of more. That's it, Cynthia. We serve the God of more. Absolutely. We serve the God of more. And so we're expecting more in August. I'm going to say it one more time. August is going to far surpass any month that you have known in your existence as a human being. It will far surpass it. It will be the month that supersedes all prior testimonies. It will be the month that supersedes all prior things. Somebody just tried to Facebook. Somebody just tried to call me. Um, it will be that month. It will be, that's right. It'll be the most powerful month. That's it, Marcia. It is the most powerful month that I have ever yet to experience. That's it. You got to say that thing. Now, while you're sitting there, if you're working, you can't talk loud, just whisper that. Just say, August oh, will far surpass. If you got to whisper that thing and then make up in your mind that you're getting ready to start saying that the August is going to far surpass any month that I have lived as an existence and as a human being, it is going to go over and above. Hey, Minister Ray, our spiritual son. But it's going to far surpass. August is going to far surpass. I'm going to say that one more time. I'm sensing that strong in my spirit. It's going to far surpass. August will far surpass any month that I have ever experienced as a human being. I will break all prior records. The God of more has shown up in my life. The God of the exceeding has shown up in my life in Jesus name. So there are a couple things that I wanted to tell you. First of all, anybody in the Detroit uh, metro area, come and see me on this coming Monday at 7 p.m. I'm going to be teaching wealth strategies. That thing is going to be fire. You know, entrepreneurs uh, or, or entrepreneurs or people that are employees or entrepreneurs, they think about making more money. But I want to challenge you to get an investor mindset because with an investor mindset, then you think about how can I multiply my money? Everybody say, I'm multiplying my money. Give me, um, yes, baby. 
my honey told me to put on my seat belts. Um, I want you to think about multiplying your money, multiplying your money, multiplying your money. Now, um, when is the next one after Michigan? I, girl, I'm all over the place. I'll be in Orlando August 20th and 21st. Okay, so anyway, I, wanted, I want you to think about investing your money. So there are a couple things that I want to give you before we get ready to take off because I'm going to lose signal in just a little bit here. But um, I want to ask yourself, I want you to ask yourself this. Have you fully taken advantage or have you fully um, taken responsibility, I want to say? Where Orlando works? Okay, yes. Okay, good. So I'll see you there. I'll be posting that soon. Hey, Judith, what's up, cousin? Um... Have you, fully taken, have you fully taken responsibility for what you are? That part is so very important. As long as you, you know, as long as I was blaming my ex-husband for, you know, not paying child support uh, on time or as much as I thought, you know, he should have, or as long as I was blaming, you know, my parents should have did this and, you know, or my such and such should have did that, then I did, nothing changed for me. My life didn't change. As long as I was waiting for my ex-husband, as soon as he sent his child support, then I'm gonna be able to do this. As a matter of fact, things really started changing for me when I said, if he never pays me a dime, I'll always be wealthy. I'll always have more than enough. Now, mind you, I'm saying this while I'm living with my parents. So this is all very much a confession of faith, right? All of this is faith. Okay, the air conditioner just popped on. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you for the air. Thank you, Lord. I'm not going to hell. Hallelujah. <laughs> but anyway, um, as long as I was waiting for somebody to deliver me and help me, I didn't tap into helping myself. I never tapped into being able to create myself as long as I was looking for somebody else to do it. And so what it did is it placed a demand on me. I got so angry and waiting at somebody else to deliver me. I got so mad and waiting for somebody else to come and rescue me. And God asked me, why don't you rescue yourself? Because everything that you need to be successful is on the inside of you. Everything that you need to win is on the inside of you. And as long as you think your ex-husband is your problem, or maybe your current husband, or your ex-wife is your problem, or your mama, or your daddy, or whoever that you are expecting to come and deliver you, then you never tap into the potential that God put on the inside of you to deliver yourself. There is an anointing on the inside of you to be able to deliver yourself. There's an anointing on the inside of you to be able to create wealth. Here's the issue. You cannot hang around people that are always looking for somebody else to help them or to save them. You've got to hang around people that understand that God put an anointing in them to save themselves. He put an anointing in you. Yes, my husband is getting ready to take off, honey. Let me show y'all my baby. The blood of Jesus cover our flight, safe flight. Safe landing in Jesus' name. He's so cute. He's so cute. Cool. So this is what we see. Renee, what's going on? What's up, Lauren? So anyway, that was just the main thing that I wanted to get on here to encourage you is stop looking for somebody else to save you. Stop looking for somebody else to do something for, for you. This is what I realized, and this is why you got to start thinking like the uber wealthy until you actually become uber wealthy. Stop trying to spend somebody else's money. You get your own money, and then what happens is you'll hear the Holy Ghost for yourself, and you'll find out who you're supposed to help, who you're not supposed to help, because sometimes you can help somebody, and you think you're helping them, but you 
you're really crippling them because you're allowing them to stay um, handicapped. You're allowing them to stay dependent. You're allowing them to stay in a position where they feel like they need somebody else to deliver them and save them. It wasn't until I asked God, you help me deliver me. You help put everything on the inside of me that I need to win. You put on the inside of me. Now, God, you show me what those things are. You show me how to move in those things. You show me how to make moves. You show me how to make decisions. You show me how to create. You show me how to innovate. I'm not waiting for nobody else to come and be my savior or whatever. God, you are my savior and everything that I need is on the inside of me. And that's what I want to encourage you today. That everything that you need to succeed is on the inside of you. Everything. I mean everything. I, I said I mean everything. And so what I want to challenge you to do in this month of April, uh, August, I want you to make a decision to not talk about what somebody else, what you felt like somebody else should have done for you. Because here's the thing. Sometimes we expect things from people that we don't sow ourselves. Ourselves. And this is the other thing that you got to understand. And the area sometimes that you sow in or the people that you sow in may not always be the areas that you reap in. In other words, if I sow a particular thing and to my husband that I just need to do that because I love him. But if I'm expecting him to do the same thing, I may be disappointed. And that's what people across the board, everybody is not going to do everything. The best thing that you can do is become the person that you feel like you need that inspires you. You become that person and then you end up saying, I'm going to become that person for somebody else. Because sometimes I'm telling you, we expect stuff from people and we're like, it seemed like to me, it seemed like to me, it seemed like to me. You don't want to forever live your life upset. You don't want to forever live your life disappointed. You don't want to forever live your life mad, offended at somebody. Let me tell you something. And this is why I want everybody to be rich. One thing about it, when you get a flow going, it's hard to be offended. Just like some of y'all was mad at Kylie because they were talking about she's going to be the first female billionaire. You don't know nothing about her work ethic. You don't know nothing about her prayer life. Stop judging people that are on top. You just get on top and the perspective will be different. And this is the thing. If you hate against somebody, then you can never receive what they have. If you always mad because this person seemed like they have the advantage, then you can never become uh, what you feel like. Because a lot of times what you're offended at, you also admire, right? That's why you talk about them because there is something in you that admires them. And so what you got to do is make up in your mind, listen, God, if you did it for Kylie Jenner, then you can do it for me. God, if you did it for LeBron James, then you can do it for me. Don't refuse to participate in conversations of hate or trying to qualify who's worthy and who's not worthy and who should and who not should. Only thing you need to do is make sure you qualify and make sure you on the right path. So now I'm probably going to get ready to lose y'all because my honey... Detroit. I'll see you Monday. I love you. I believe in you. Bye.